This is a disaster in the making. Everything's balanced very carefully, but I thought I would try um, little, little, uh, here I am, pixel art class um, real quick. Uh, ooh, boy. Let me pr uh, start with a disclaimer. Disclaimer is that I am no pixel artist. This is just stuff I picked up on the streets, you know, pixel art, pixel arting on the streets, you know, like on a piece of cardboard and stuff with the gang members. So, um, you know, when real pixel artists see this, they're going to be totally pissed that I'm doing it all wrong and I'm, you know, I'm spreading the word about things that are completely wrong, but whatever, this is, uh, this is what I got to show you. Um, I'm going to see what I can do real quick. Uh, I thought, uh, as you can see, I got Paint Shop Pro open. I have a 16 by 16 grid set, and uh, I zoomed in on it. That's the secret to pixel art, is you zoom in. See, here's my picture. Zoom way in. Now I'm working in a box. I'm going to make a 16 by 16 character. Um, I think that it will be some sort of ogre, and so I'm getting some kind of greenish color. Um, when picking colors, uh, here let me open this. Uh, there's no way you can see this, but there's, you know, there's RGB, but there's also HSL or HSV. Um, the hue is what color it is. Saturation is saturation. How much color is in it versus how much just grayness. You never want maximum saturation unless you're doing like sparkle of magic or something you know a bright light something you want to have totally pop out completely from everything else and that's a trick because programmers always use fully saturated colors but that's not all underneath that is L which I think is luminosity I don't know it's also called V for value it's how bright the color is you never want full bright unless you're making white which I do use white a lot that's because I'm a cartoonist you never want full full black unless you need black. What you want to do is use colors kind of in the middle. And it's kind of surprising how few colors there are. For this ogre, I'm kind of you doing a greenish yellowish color because he's an ogre. And I want him to be sort of light in tone, I think. I don't know. Anyway, roughing out a basic shape, I like to make a very large head because the head is going to have the personality in it. And because I make cartoons, cartoons have big heads, at least my cartoons do. So give him a big head. And he's an ogre, so he's fat. Let's start with something like that. Who knows? Um, now, I always like to get the eyes in early. The eyes, I always do the same way on every character. They are white with dark pupils, sometimes black, sometimes uh, dark gray. But here's the thing. On a 16 by 16 character, there's very little room for eyes. So here's a few different things you can do. Uh, let, me, let me make a, here's a blank ogre face palette. Um, one thing you can do is make one eye. I do that a lot. You could do that with an ogre type thing, but you can't do it with everything, so I'm not going to do it here because most things have two eyes. Like if you're making a businessman, you probably don't want to give him one eye. You can do the two eyes that are put together into one solid thing. Let me make this big so you can really see it. See, that's actually, you know, one white with two pupils in it. It actually looks fine. People think that's a weird concept, but when they see it in action, they don't, it doesn't stand out as anything strange. It's just cartoony. You can uh, do this, which is just standard two eyes, each one's two by two. That is very big. It takes up a ton of space, but it does tend to be what I do most of the time. And that's why I need to make big heads, because that's what happens. A lot of people will just do this. Bam! A pair of black dots. You can get away with that. It doesn't tend to have as much personality. Um, another thing you can do is have no eyes at all. Have a helmet crushed down on his head with a nose sticking out. That's nice and cartoony too. So there's a bunch of different ways. Um, what I'd like to do is throw down something like this. Give him a pair of eyes. Now he looks like a Pac-Man ghost. Um, 
So, and I'm not going to do this whole thing. I'm already at five minutes. I just want to give a, you know, give some tips. Get a nose sticking out there. Um, now, let's say he's going to have a tooth. Get a tooth sticking out of his mouth because he's an ogre. And then what I do, I grab this color and pick a lighter version of it underneath that tooth uh, to give it a highlight on his lip. You know, his lip is sticking out here. Actually, what I want to do is erase this nose. Ooh, erase this nose for the moment because I want ha, I want this tooth to be sticking out a little, or the lip to be sticking out a little. Now, see, I've got the highlighted lip, right? Here's a little secret. The, the lip is highlighted because light's hitting it. I, I usually assume light's coming in from the upper right. Um, but up here, above his lip, let me pick a darker color. I put a dark section there. That's probably too dark. Put a slightly dark section there. Um, that has nothing to do with shading. There's no reason why it would be dark there. It should be getting the same amount of light as everything else. You do that for contrast. It's kind of a, a trick to to help make this tooth and this lip stand out. Not that this looks very pretty, but that's beside the point. Now that I've used that color, I'm calling that my shading color. Even though it's actually it's too pale for me. I'm gonna use a darker one. When you are doing pixel art, you do not want to use a whole lot of colors. It's really important because what happens is you start with something like this, it's just completely plain. It looks amateurish because it hasn't been shaded or anything. You know, here's, here's my totally plain character. His name is Bob, and he looks like this. That is amateurish, besides the fact that it's a funny shape, because it's completely plain. Now you shade him, oops, you shade him, and he's looking better but what happens is people who try to uh, step up their art game a little bit will overshade so now you know get add another color in between the two now I'm going like this I'm adding another layer of shading that ends up looking like a mess it just it creates this smoothed out appearance that just looks bad when you're doing pixel art you maybe want two or three shades of color. Some people will uh, take a certain, you know, an old school game palette and use that or whatever, and that's one way to go. But for me, I just I take whatever colors I want. I just make sure that I only use maybe two or three shades in the process. You know, right here on the ogre, what we have right now is a highlight color and technically two shadow colors. But I probably won't use this color again. It's just there, in just for a special occasion because I really needed it. Um, this is a really stupid looking character. Uh, so, I like to put a dark line between the eyes. You know, that should just be the same color as everything else, but again, you're putting the darkness in there to add that hit of contrast. Always handy to put contrast where you need it. Um, and since the light's coming in from up here, let's put a highlight up there. That's something it looks kind of stupid but whatever it's an it's a guy probably look better with two fangs no he wouldn't um but as an ogre he really should have a nose so i'm going to actually stretch out his head more and give him a big old nose that looks terrible okay so i made a really stupid character not the best tutorial to make a terrible looking character but uh, hopefully I gave you some ideas um, another thing you can do to save a little space on the eyes this is kinda tricky squish that over a notch suddenly what you've got is well let me make his eyes not as dark suddenly what you have is perspective you can't see all of this eye because it's on the other side of his head so boom boom I saved a pixel, which is a lot of savings in a 16 pixel space, and I made him look kind of perspective-y and nice. I still hate his nose. I don't know what I could do with that. 
maybe bring it up there. Now he's got a kind of bulky nose. I'm going to stretch out of my space a little bit. Uh, oh, I thought I could get away with something here, and it doesn't look so good. Anyway, there's a, uh, there's a weird ogre. That's another 10 minutes talking about pixels. There was something else I was totally going to mention on that, but whatever. Hopefully I got you a few ideas, even though that's a really ugly picture. I'm embarrassed. Um, that's today's pixel art lesson. Enjoy. Sorry that you just got taught by a total amateur. Mm-hmm.